hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Mink and this is Mink's Kinks and y'all let's not talk about how crazy I look we're finally trying a new a shout out to the coffee because we need her <laughs> okay um but we're trying a new leave-in conditioner today it's one that is not new on the market at all actually the line is expanding so it's been out for a little minute but y'all know me I'm just now getting around to try it so so y'all the leave-in that we're getting into today is the carol's goddess goddess strength divine strength leave-in cream and y'all this is what the product looks like we love to see it it is a whopping 10 fluid ounces so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts seeing me apply all of that all of that then definitely go ahead and keep watching but if you are new here go ahead and hit the subscribe button we would love to have you join the kinky crew fam because we are growing in 2022 is just I'm telling y'all I have a good feeling about it so definitely go ahead hit that subscribe button so that y'all can stay with me on this journey that your girl is going on okay so y'all know I like to go ahead and give y'all the highlights of what I use during my wash day so I went in with the um what is it Garnier sleek and shine shampoo been using that forever if you have not seen some of my hair regimens go ahead and I'll link some above up there but go ahead and watch those you guys should have just got an updated one not too long ago. Then I went in with a new conditioner, which I talked about also in that same video. Um, really like it. Haven't done a conditioner call yet because I think I need one more use to actually solidify my thoughts. And then to wrap things up, I went in with the Herbal Essences um, hair mask, which I've done a review on as well. And two out of those three wash day products had silicone. So y'all, I am getting i'm listen y'all know that i'm moving and just going through my stash i have a ton of shampoos conditioners hair masks all of that that has silicones in it and y'all I gotta get rid of these products so I'm about to start experimenting with silicones in my hair my hair feels super soft so y'all my hair is super soft it's very plush it's very voluminous um so yeah, I just need to start going through some of the products in my stash and I'm about to go on a silicone product kick. Just letting y'all know now. So, and I don't know a whole lot about like silicones. Like I feel like I know the basics, but not all of the, you know, ins and outs of it. So if you guys do use silicone or don't use silicone, just let me know down below. Let's talk about it. What products have you tried with silicones? Do you like? Like, you know, all of that, all of that, all of that. So I am just going to keep you know using sulfates in my hair once a month i also use just a regular very deep cleansing non-sulfate shampoo once a month so i'm gonna keep doing my same regimen but i just want to experiment with some of these silicones and speaking of silicones this leave-in does have silicones um so let me just section this last piece here and then we'll get into this product all right, y'all, so it says that the Goddess Strength is the strength and length system. I do have the matching conditioner to this line, and I've heard really good things about the conditioner as well, so I can't wait to try that too. Um, it says that it's for weak, damage-prone hair. I don't know. My hair's been going through a little spat. It does feel kind of weak. I'm not sure if it's because I had my hair straightened recently. I caught COVID while I was in D.C., y'all. Yes, this is my second time catching COVID, and I haven't been doing nothing. I've been wearing my mask, all of that, all of that, and and uh, here was another round of COVID but y'all work with people every day so I don't know maybe that was it but thank god I am fine so I don't know if it's like hair loss from COVID y'all I don't know but my hair is going through a spat and I wanted to go in with a lot of strengthening products because of those two reasons just to really get my hair together so this product does say that it has no parabens no petroleum no mineral oil no artificial colors and it's made with castor oil ginger and black cumin seed so let's just go ahead and read the directions and then i'll read like the first five ingredients y'all know i'm not a super ingredient type of person but we're gonna we're gonna see what we know on here okay so the directions say after using the goddess strength shampoo conditioner and hair and scalp oil apply to wet or damp hair and work in evenly from roots to tips um apply more as needed and style as desired don't rinse out okay sounds good to me of course i didn't use this system i just am using this so um and then the first five ingredients are water satiral alcohol dimethicone glycerin Behentramonium, chloride, perfume, 
amodimethicone. So the black cumin, the castor, and um, the flax, is it? Is it? Those don't come until like the middle of the list, which y'all know most people want to see the ingredients that you're you know hyping up on the container we want to see them you know higher up on the list but this is down towards the middle which i mean there's nothing we can do about it now so i'm just going to split my my hair this section girl in half and um we're going to get into applying uh oh chow y'all i'm oiling my scalp so y'all um a lot of naturals like this leave-in, <clears throat> which I'm excited to try. I know that Urban Fab Curls liked it, and I'm pretty sure Denise Adore liked it as well. I'm pretty sure. I know Tresses of Alexis liked it. Um, child, I don't know. This leave-in came out a long, long time ago. Quinn Ray loved it, y'all. Y'all know I just love the YouTube girls, okay? The only person who I said who I've seen so far that said they don't like it is Sheree. Y'all know we love Sheree on this channel and she has started watching my videos recently. And shout out to you girl because we love the support. Um so yeah, y'all, I'm excited to see what what how I'm gonna feel about this leaving. Um, I don't know, like I don't know but all right y'all so I sprayed my hair down to get it a little damp and I'm gonna just so go ahead and start applying I don't know if you guys were able to see that but I did pump out some I'm gonna go ahead and get one more pump I don't know how much um, to use on this half a section but it has silicone silicone typically has good slip for me um, not with this one though I'm gonna need some more leave-in okay So I grabbed two more pumps y'all so that's five pumps for this little section which I feel like is a lot I probably don't need that much but y'all know I'm heavy handed but um I don't know this just didn't have the best slip for me maybe it's just this section here maybe my hair's not wet enough I don't know um but I needed a good bit but it is starting to define my curls now I know a lot of people didn't like the smell of this line and I can definitely see how people wouldn't like the smell. It's nothing that would bother me right now but like I said I do have the conditioner and I can see you know with the steam and the shower and everything how I could you know what I'm saying get a little crazy in there. So child, I, I, I don't know I am going to try it soon though so. Because people really seem to like this collection in general. This is one of those lines that brought Carol's daughter back to the scene. Because y'all know she was gone for a little minute. So yeah y'all I am going to be trying more silicones in my products. I'm still going to be you know. I'm just going to be incorporating them more in the products that I use. Especially like my conditioners. Because y'all know I go through conditioners so quickly. And I just need to get rid of some of these conditioners in my stash. Um, probably most of them I won't be repurchasing. Y'all know I'm only going to repurchase my favorites. But I just have a lot of products and they need to go y'all. I've been packing and I'm like girl when did you buy this? Okay. But for a while I wasn't turned off I'm still not like against silicones it's just something that I would prefer not to hit if y'all know what I'm saying so again I went in with four pumps it is like a medium consistency like y'all can see it sliding down my hand so it has some thickness but um still has a little bit of movement and the slip is definitely better I don't think my hair was wet enough on that first one but yeah you guys so I am going to just be doing a braid out today. I did buy a new bottle of the braid out glaze. I did finish one recently. Well actually I finished it some time ago. But um, I just repurchased it. So I'm going to go ahead and pair this with the braid out glaze. And I will come back when my hair is fully dried and styled and everything. Um, so yeah I'll see you guys in a couple days. Okay, hey you guys, so I'm back and y'all, I just had to come back because there's some things that have happened and I didn't want to wait until whenever I take my hair out and then forget about it and all of that, all of that. So let's talk about this real quick. So this, I feel like I had to use a good amount of it. My hair did feel really, really good uh, before I put 
gel before I put the styler on um so I used about this much so that's like I should have like four or five more uses left of this it felt really good I did feel like I had to use a good bit of it being that it has a silicone silicone usually just slips through and glides through your hair but I wanted to make sure that I felt the moisture as well so then y'all I went ahead and tried it with the pearly braid out glaze mm-mm Mm -mm 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 -mm. and it may have been because I had too much leave-in or I don't know if they just don't mix I don't know but I was getting a white balling and I was like no ma'am um no ham no turkey um what <laughs> what else do we have um typically i don't really have problems with anything mixing with the braid out glaze but my always go-to backup is wet line so i grabbed my one of my wet lines child and started applying it and i still got that same like curdling my camera's not focusing but that like curdling y'all know what i'm talking about um but i was just like girl whatever we're just gonna try it and as you guys can see for the most part my hair is sinking in the product this right here i just finished this one so i'm hoping that you know it just goes away um but when i put it in y'all i sprayed my hair of course before i put in the gel and when i put it in it almost felt like all the water was coming out of my hair so like I would spray my hair put the gel in and apply the gel and it just felt like all the water was just like coming out of my hair and it made my hair um almost like stiff and my hair wasn't as defined so I don't know what that was about um this is the new wet line I'm actually doing a comparison soon so you guys should be getting that video um soon I think I might do that next week so I don't know um but it almost felt like all the water was just coming out of my hair whereas usually when I use wet line like you can still feel the water in there as well as the like hold of the gel so um and I don't really feel any hold as of right now um yeah but my hair is still soaking soaking wet so um I just wanted to come back and tell you guys that because I'm not really sure what that's about I don't know if it's just the combination of the two I don't know but it was just weird and I haven't experienced that um before so i don't know um but yeah y'all i'm gonna come back of course once my hair is dried and all of that can we get into the length of these braids because yes ma'am um but yeah y'all i'll see you guys when my hair is dry and take it down okay you guys so i am back and first let me apologize because i do have on a black shirt and i have black hair and a black bookcase so i know it makes it a little hard to see i'm really sorry about that you guys i am chow about to go to work so um i just wanted to come back and let you guys know about my hair so this is what it looks like so as you guys can see my hair is super 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 shiny which we love to see that um so you guys i'm gonna be honest this isn't my favorite hairstyle but just going in with the leave-in i do like the leave-in so let's talk about this for a minute so you guys it does have silicones in it and i think we talked about that a bit during application i'm just going to experiment a little bit more with silicones just because i have a ton of stuff with silicones in my stash we're just going to be experimenting a bit with that and see what happens um i do think that this is really moisturizing but with silicones you know it's kind of hard to tell if it's real moisture or if it's just the silicone sitting on top of your hair but my hair does feel moisturized my hair does look extremely shiny i did feel like i had to use a good bit of it so i'm about here on the bottle about here so i should get about like five uses out of this um it is 10 ounces so I guess that's good it doesn't really have a whole lot of claims on the bottle it just says 94 percent less breakage um it's a strengthening leave-in i don't know i think it was a pretty good leave-in if i want to use silicones like i definitely would pick this up this is actually it was it felt good to apply i'm not fond of the smell but it's not a super strong smell to me i know that was a lot of complaints with a lot of other naturals but i actually did like this um is it a favorite no but i can see myself repurchasing it um but you know i'll give it a couple tries now it did not pair with the tropical moringa braid out glaze y'all know that is one of my favorite um stylers and it did not really work um so i went in with the wet line and i did go ahead in with the newer wet line that i have because i only have a smidge left 
of my old wet line and I want to save that for a comparison video and I think that comparison video may happen next wash day just because I think that the new wet line has less hold so I've done a wash and go with it before when I tried the Jane Carter um, curls to go cream which I did do a video on so I'll link that up above um, and this is the first like braid out that I've done and y'all like I just when I was putting it on my hair I could feel that it was like less whole and when I put the gel on it was like all the water left my hair I don't know how to explain that I feel like there's a real term for that but I don't know how to explain it um but the hole just is I can feel a hold on my hair but there's no cast whereas with the other wet line the original wet line I always had some level of hold some level of crunch which you guys know is something that I really like so I think that's what I'm gonna do next wash day is just use up that last little bit of the old one and then um compare it to the new one not sure what leave-in or anything but I know I'm late to the party with that but I'm gonna give that a try so yeah you guys um as for the leave-in I do like the leave-in um I don't know I do think it's a bit overhyped I do think it's a good leave-in I think my hair is moisturized right now um I'll let you guys know in the comment section or in the description box or something um how long my the moisture lasts I don't see my hair lasting too long like it is super defined but I didn't pick it out too much because I wasn't sure about the the cast the hold on my hair so yeah you guys I feel like I'm just starting to ramble at this point but I do um like my hair my hair feels really good it feels really moisturized I just don't really like the way it is styled today I tried to do a deep side part but it's just mm-mm Mm -mm. Uh, my hair has just been a little finicky lately so yeah y'all that is the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know if you've tried this leave it down below and how you feel about silicones let's chit chat about that a little bit down below so yeah you guys i love you so much and i'll see you in my next one bye